most of my video editing experience is with iMovie, but the problem with iMovie is it doesn't give you more than one video channel, more than one audio channel. You can kind of attach little clips and have them float above, but they have to be anchored to something, which is annoying. Adobe Premiere has all these features, but it came off as too much at the moment. I just wanted to stick with iMovie. Once I realized I had some sync issues and I wanted to interleave multiple different takes, iMovie wasn't going to cut it anymore. You're, you're not able to cut things up and move them around as easily with all the features that you want in a non-linear video editor. I think I have downloaded Blender before, but the learning curve is a bit steep. And so unless you have some sort of long-term plan, you may not want to make the investment to go up that learning curve. So I made the investment in Blender and yesterday I realized with my Sony a6500 camera that it has an issue. The camera creates variable frame rate video. You don't notice this when you're editing a video because Blender has different pipelines for editing versus rendering. What happens is the sound goes out of sync for some clips. If there's a variable frame rate and there's not exactly 30 frames per second, then matching up the audio with the video is a challenge. Of course, I learned this after fully editing a video and spending, you know, a couple of hours. The video that comes out of my camera has a variable frame rate. So once I learned this, a bit of Google searching, I realized there's a tool called Handbrake that you can use to re-encode the video as constant frame rate. So I took all the videos, all the source videos, and I re-encoded them as constant frame rate. I tried to import them into Blender in a sort of sly way where I just closed Blender, saved it, and moved the files into place. That did not work. So what I ended up having to do was create a new project. I had the rendered out of sync video to at least help with the various clips and how they were gonna line up. And so I spent another hour probably going through the source videos, cutting out the parts that I had cut out before and assembling them just the same way. And maybe this was actually a good thing because it gave me practice with those shortcuts more. So my process is better now. And then rendering it and now everything's in sync and the video's up on YouTube and job done. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.